Okay, hello rowers. Today we are doing a heart rate based recovery and endurance row. So for those of you who have done the last couple workouts that I posted, this is a slightly different format. We're going to be focusing primarily on our heart rate zones. So if you don't have a heart rate monitor, we're going to be sticking mostly in the green and yellow zones. So those zones, you should be conversational, being able to hold a conversation, mostly some heavy, breath some heavy breathing, but not too much. As we get up into the orange zone, that's where you start breathing more heavily and you can get out a few words, but not full sentences necessarily. Um, so that's the first thing. So if you have a heart rate monitor and you know your zones, great. If not, work off of that conversational type of level. If you want to make today a hard workout, maybe increase the heart rate zones a little bit from what I'm saying here. My goal for today is to keep this as an endurance day and a recovery day. So we're working hard enough to keep our heart rate pumping to build up that cardiac capacity, but not so hard that we're fatiguing our muscles so that tomorrow or whenever our next hard workout is, we will be at full functionality. Our muscles will not be sore at all. We'll be ready to give it our absolute best effort. Um, so that's the plan of today. So we're gonna be sticking mostly in the, those lower heart rate zones with that intention. Uh, the workout itself is going to be a full 45 minutes straight through. There's no pauses, no intervals. Um, well, there's intervals, but no stopping between them. So with that in mind, if you do need to stop to stretch out, take a, or take a drink, whatever you need to do, try and do that sort of at the end of one of the higher heart rate zones. So when we're finishing up a piece in the yellow zone or the orange zone, then stop, put the handle down, grab your water, do what you need to do on that front, and then jump back into it. And the target is to keep your heart rate in that zone two, the green zone or above the entire time so that you sort of keep that cardiac functionality going. Um, yeah, and so if you can just grab the water quickly and do that, then perfect, that's the ideal. Uh, so, just gonna describe the workout really quickly because we are going to jump right into it. We're not gonna do a warm up like we typically do. I'm gonna sort of build that into the first section of the workout. So the workout is going to be starting out that green zone, then doing a little like mini ladder, going up to the orange, dropping back down to green. We'll do some up and down through the green and the yellow, five minutes at each. And then towards the end, we will do a couple more jumps into orange and finally red, um, just to finish things off. That orange zone jump, just to give you a warning, is going to be a little bit of power work. So we're gonna have the stroke rate really low we're going to try and push the power on every stroke to get your heart rate to build up to the orange zone while keeping your stroke rate low. So lots of power on every stroke. So that pretty much sums it up. I just want to get moving. Excited to do this. Hopefully you guys are too. Nice cruising day, actually. So in terms of setting up the monitor, I'm not even going to bother showing you how to set it up today. Just follow me, it's a 45 minute row. You can ju hit just row if you want to set it up for a 45 minute countdown, which I'm gonna do on my own monitor right now. You can do that by, if you're on a concept two, of course, hitting select workout, new workout, single time, and just knock that up to 45 minutes. Or you can just row, just follow me, that is also totally fine. So as we get started, if you hit that 45 minutes, let's try not to trigger it to start counting down. So just take a really slow movement back to get to the finish without making it start counting. Okay. By the way, if you do feel like you need to take some warm up strokes before you actually start rowing with me, now's the time to hit that pause button take your warm-up strokes, do your jumping jacks, whatever is your thing, and then come back in with me. So, holding the handle nice and wide. You never wanna be holding it in towards the middle. Nice wide grip. Pull it in to your lower chest, down here. Relax shoulders, sitting up tall. None of that slumping position. 
feet solidly on the foot stretchers, elbow from your body, looking straight ahead. And we're going to begin rowing. As always, start with the arms out, follow with the body, then the leg recovery. Ready, row, full strokes. Nice and light. We're going to build the rate up to 22 here over the next few strokes. The pressure is light, so I don't want people to be pushing hard to get to that 22. Just moving the handle back and forth just fast enough that you can get to 22 while maintaining some ratio, longer recovery than your drive. Think about hanging off the handle. And what we're gonna do today is we're going to build up the stroke, not by actually breaking it down and only doing arms or only doing legs, but just mentally focusing on the different parts of your body. So bring your focus down into your legs. Let's start with just our right leg. Just feel the pressure building in your right foot as you come forward. You might subconsciously start leaning over to your right side. It's okay. And press with that right leg. Take five strokes here. Get a little more press with that right side. Press. Press. Rest two more. And shift over to the left. Feel the pressure building your left foot. And rest a little harder with your left leg. And then bring them together. Both legs. Pressure builds up in the sole of the foot as you're recovering. And then pressing with the legs. And then shift that focus to your core. Think about that swing forward. Holding your chest tall. Hinge your body forward. Then engage the core as you drive back. Legs stay straight as you get that swing forward. And engage. Rest. Still not letting your legs drop their pressure, even though you're focusing on your core. And let's shift to the arms and your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Push your arms out around the finish. And then on the stroke, suspend hanging off your fingers till the very end. When you finish off that stroke with that quick arm pull to your chest, not quite hitting it, you don't want to smack your chest with the handle, just making that little loop around the finish. In and out. In and out. Okay, for anyone who's let that sort of pressure build up, take a look at your heart rate. Should be hanging out in the green zone. So let's lighten up the pressure if it's a little too high. Try and find that green zone. A little under two minutes. We're gonna build it up, head into yellow for a little bit. But for now, still holding up in the green zone, zone two, nice conversational pressure.
Nice and long. Sit tall. Easy pressure to stay in that green. Relax shoulders. Tall body. Got about 15 seconds before that shift in pressure. The pace, 22 strokes a minute, is going to maintain the same. Get ready to shift up. In pressure right here. Just build up a little more pressure. Drop your split by however much you need to, five seconds, whatever it needs to be, to find that yellow zone. Zone three of your heart rate. Engaging the handle all the way through the drive. So that pressure that you feel between your fingers and the handle as you start driving back, hold on to that all the way into the finish. Maintaining this for four minutes. We are almost one minute down. So three minutes to go right here. Think about that separation between your heels and the seat. Try not to over compress. That's my own personal bad habit that I'm always trying to break. Once you find your own bad habit, just every now and then, every five, 10 minutes, give yourself a little reminder to focus on not doing that. Way through this time in the yellow zone, in zone three, then we'll shift up to zone four, which will come along with a, a rate change up to 24. Deep breaths, you may be breathing a little harder now. It's okay, as long as you're holding with the yellow. So as you row, as you sort of fatigue, there's cardiac drift, which means your heart rate slowly rises up, even though you're putting in the same amount of pressure. So if you're watching your split or your watts, if it stays the same, your heart rate will just slowly drift up. So, in order to hold on to a yellow zone or a green zone or whatever zone you're trying to hold on to, you have to let your pressure decrease over time. And as you build up your cardiac capacity, the amount that you have to let decrease should be lessened. You should be able to hold closer to the same pace through an entire workout. So we're coming up on that shift to go up to the orange zone, go at a slightly higher rate in about 20 seconds right here. My monitor is sitting on watts. Getting it over to the 500 meter split, I'm more familiar with. Let's build up that pressure and the rate. 
fine. 24 strokes a minute right here. And watch your heart rate build into the orange zone. We're gonna hold this for two minutes. If it takes you two full minutes to get there, that's okay. You're able to get into the middle of the orange zone in the first 30 seconds. Then just decrease the pressure as you need to to hold your heart rate right there for the remainder of the two minutes. You can hear my own talking is kind of turning a little more clipped. Shorter phrases. That's because my breathing is going up due to my heart rate getting up there. We are one minute into this. So we're gonna shift down to the green zone after this minute. But what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna call this often, is we're gonna try and hold this 24 while going to the green zone. So that means you're going to have to be really zero pressure on the drive, but super quick through the re release, getting your hands away and your body over followed by a controlled recovery. As the drive pressure goes down, that means normally the recovery time has to increase, but to hold the 24 strokes per minute, you have to be really quick through the release to make that happen. So, got 10 seconds at pressure. Get ready to drop the power. On this next stroke, right here, no power. Rest and release. Rest and release. Trying to get our heart rate down to green while maintaining 24 strokes per minute rate. That may be possible, may not. We're gonna hold this for three minutes. If you get down to green, awesome. If not, that's okay. After this, we're gonna let the stroke rate drop to 20. And so at that point, you should be able to get back down into that green zone. For now, focus on no pressure, followed by quick hands out, body over. No pressure, quick hands out, body over. No pressure, quick hands out, body over. that heart rate's dropping down. Maybe you're already in the green, maybe you're in the yellow, wherever you are. Just try and let it drop into the green. If you're already in the green, then maybe you can build up a little pressure. Still focusing on keeping pressure between the soles of your feet and the foot plate so you're not pulling yourself up the slide. got one more minute at this rate before we drop the rate down to 20 strokes a minute. Okay, get ready for the shift down in 15 seconds. When we shift down, we're going to do it by taking longer on the recovery. In two, shift down, one. And two, on this one, press and slow. Press slow. 
20 strokes per minute. We're still sitting in that green heart rate zone. So still keeping the pressure really light. If you were never able to get into the green at the 24, lighten the pressure down even more. If you're happy in the green right now, just hold right where you are. We're going to hold this for two minutes. And that will be the end of our first out of five, five minute pieces where we're shifting between green and yellow. So we're going to go from this green heart rate zone two up into yellow heart rate zone three. Hold that for five minutes. Drop it back down to green. The entire time doing some rating shifts. Back and forth. about sitting tall. Nice long strokes. So, not about a little over 20 seconds here. When we shift up to yellow, we're just holding on to 20 strokes per minute. We're just building up the pressure. Making each stroke a little stronger. In two, let's make that power shift. One, two, a little more pressure. Get that heart rate up a little bit. We're going to hold this for two minutes. Slightly stronger pressure at 20. Then the rate's gonna go down again. We're gonna go all the way down to 18 and stick there for the remainder of the yellow zone and into the next green zone. Let's focus back into the form. Think about sitting tall, reaching out. It takes 10 strokes to focus on that swing around the finish. Holding your legs straight while your hands press out, body swings forward. Straight to finish, hands out, body forward. Release and recover. Release and recover. Okay, we're gonna drop the rate down super low to 18 and about. Three more strokes. One, two, and three. Recover, press, press. So we're still in that yellow zone. So this is a fairly solid 18. Getting good pressure every stroke, followed by a long recovery. We're holding this for three minutes. About two and a half minutes remaining. At these low stroke rates, especially when you try, start trying to get good power, you really have to focus on maintaining your form, sitting tall, and suspending immediately on the drive. Legs giving the power, arms hanging off the handle.
pressure builds up in your toes as you're moving forward on the recovery. And then press through your entire foot. Got this, stay long, stay tall. We've got about one minute more of hard pressure 18. Then maintaining that 18, we're gonna try and drop our heart rate back to zone two. Back into that green zone. Shoulders are relaxed. You need to take a deep breath into that. Breathe out. Okay. We're gonna drop the pressure on this next one. Rest. Let's find that green zone. Zone two. Holding 18 strokes per minute. Lower pressure. Just let yourself cruise. Let that heart rate drop. Don't worry about your split. Today is not the day to be worrying about split times, power output. Now it's all about how you feel, how your heart rate is moving. It's a recovery day, nice and light. So think about your form, keeping that swing. In a little under a minute, we're shifting the rate up to 20 while holding the green zone. This is five minute interval, number three out of five. shifts up. We're going to get it by getting a little quicker around the finish in two, one, two, a little bit of extra oomph on the front end, a little quicker around the finish. Twenty strokes per minute right here. We're gonna hold this for three minutes before we build that pressure up to go back into the yellow zone. Right now we should still be in green. So if you're watching your heart rate climb because the stroke rate went up and your split dropped, decrease the pressure. Let yourself cruise at 20. shoulders, hinge from the hips, and then on the drive, even on these this light pressure strokes, 
Think about engaging your glutes so that you can suspend and press with your legs. Initiate the drive with those glute muscles. Got about one minute more in the green zone before the pressure comes up to go into yellow. Bending off the fingers. Try not to grip the handle with your entire hand. Thumbs are nice and loose. In two, let's shift that power. Holding 20 strokes per minute. Find yellow zone, zone three, right here. Press. Same stroke rate. Press. Slightly stronger. Leg drive. Watch that split drop a little. Build your heart rate up into yellow. You've got five minutes in the yellow. First two minutes here are at 20. Then we're gonna build up to 22 for those last three minutes. All stay long. In terms of the pressure you're putting out, it's higher than it was, but it's probably still less than we would typically do in a strong interval workout. It's still able to talk fairly comfortably. Raise that shift up to 22. A little quicker around the finish. And two, let's go to 22, that's one. And two. Rest, a little quicker. Rest. 22 right here. You may have had, an you may have had to increase your pressure to find the 22. So let's back off so our heart rates don't go skyrocketing. We want to stay in yellow. Really light stroke. Quick pitch. Light and quick. Light and quick. Three minutes total at 22 in the yellow, of which one minute is done. You've got two minutes to go before that pressure shifts back down to green. Six. 
especially when you're trying to be quick. It's really easy to start getting a little tense. So relax your shoulders. It's also really easy to get into bad habits, like lifting your back early, or just sort of slumping through the recovery and letting everything come forward at the same time. So just keep on focusing on this quickness. While staying tall, staying long, keeping your legs straight through the release. Approaching that shift down to green in 20 seconds. We're gonna hold the 22 for the first two minutes of this green zone, which means if it feels like you're pressing light now, you'll have to do you'll have to decrease your pressure even more to let that heart rate drop as much as you can. Right here. Still 22, even lighter pressure. Lighter pressure at 22 means even faster hands around the finish, pushing them away from your body. The reason for that is so you can get out of the finish through the release and still keep that recovery controlled. You never want to be pulling up on the footsteps to get yourself to come back to the front end. Always engage with the foot points. Got one minute more at 22. Remember, trying to get your heart rate. To drop down into that zone two, the green zone. Something around 70% of your max. Depending on how you have those zones set up. Drop down the rate to 20. Let's do it by making the recovery even slower. Keeping the same pressure on the drive, maybe a little less. In two, one, and two. Slow it down, 20 strokes a minute. Still hanging out in the green zone. So in terms of your split or your wattage, depending on how you're looking at it, that number shouldn't change. Maybe even increase a tiny bit. Holding this for two minutes before we shift down again to get to the 18. This is our last green zone piece, by the way. Well, the last of the five minute ones. We've got one recovery. So keep it long. Keep that recovery controlled. Maintain your form. Sit up. Not just string, pulling your chest up. Keep your back relatively straight. Under a minute to go until we drop the rate down to 18. Be 
deep breaths. Your breathing should be pretty under control right now. Breathing more heavily than if you were just sitting on the couch. But not so heavily that you couldn't talk if you had to. Let's get ready to shift the rate down again. Really long recovery in two, one, two, still in green, 18 strokes per minute, right here. Recover, press. Long strokes, maintaining the same pressure on the handle all the way through the stroke. When I say long, I literally mean long. Lengthwise, reach to the front end, drive all the way through the, through the layback. So in 20 seconds, we're gonna go straight up to the orange. We're gonna build the pressure. It's gonna be power 18. We'll spend two minutes drive that heart rate through the yellow, up to the orange to see how high you can go. One more stroke, and let's build the pressure right here. Press, still at 18. Super long recovery, press. As that power goes up, the time in the recovery also increases. If you can get your heart rate into the orange quickly here, then just hold it right there. If you spend this entire two minutes trying to build up your heart rate to find that orange zone, that's fine. Just give it what you got. Powerful strokes. Drive, sit tall. Drive, swing around the finish. Engage the core, drive. Awesome job here, got this. We're coming into your last minute at this powerful 18. Just 18 strokes to go. After this, you get a green recovery. Rest. Rest. Long and strong. Long and strong. Last 30 seconds, just nine strokes. Less than a power 10. Breathe deep. And drive your legs down. Take three more, two more. One, two, let's go to 20 and green zone. No pressure, let your heart rate rate drop. Got three minutes to get back to green, back to being comfortable. It's probably still hanging out in that orange for a little while. Heart rate does that nice little plateau before it drops off, it's okay. As you get, do more cardio training or these long, low pressure rows, your heart rate will be able to recover faster as it learns how to go up and down quickly because it's stronger. So, Got about two minutes more. Sorry, three minutes more. Did some math some wrong somewhere along the line. That's okay though. Oh, you know what? I was originally planning to spend three minutes of that 18. That's okay though. You guys don't need three minutes. Two minutes was good. So, get an extra minute in the green zone. 
to recover the last two minutes of the workout. You're doing what you can at a higher rate, 26. Doesn't sound high for a normal day, but for today, that's high. Trying to get up to the red zone. Once your heart rate hits the red zone, I want you to take five strokes, as strong as you can, solidly into the red zone, and then you can let it go, recover for whatever time is remaining. If it takes you a two, full two minutes to get up there, that's fine, that's normal. If you manage to get up there faster, you get a little teeny bit of extra recovery. And now, cruising along, trying to find that green zone if you haven't already. If you are in the green zone, just holding stable. See if you can get your heart rate to stop dropping and raising. Just sit at one level. Long strokes, sit tall. In one minute, we're going to just build it up. I'll start building a couple strokes early to let us build that rate up so when the two minute mark hits, we're solidly at 26. Keep your heart rate in this green zone until then, though. Don't let yourself jump the gun. The whole point is to see how quickly you can build up. You cheat yourself by building early, and it won't be as good of a test. Okay, let's get ready. Let's start building up right here, just getting a little quicker. Get to 26. Press. 26 strokes a minute. Full pressure. Try and find that red zone for your heart rate. As soon as you hit the red, take five max power strokes and then drop it down. Rest it up. Rest stay long. Rest. Some of you may have already hit that red. If so, that's amazing. I am not with you. Stay long. Drive hard. Got one minute more to find the red zone. Press, driving through the yellow, driving through the orange, building it up. Sit tall, reach out around the finish. Press, press. As soon as you hit red, five strong strokes. If you're still working on getting there, we've got 15 seconds to find it. Press, drive, sit up. Three more, one. Two, and three. Easy. Okay, that was it. 45 minutes, mostly easier work. Some a little less so, like that end. Take a few minutes to recover with me. Nice light rowing. Let's go back into that good form. 
Grab some water if you want to right now. And once you join back in, let's do some pauses at the body over. On this next stroke, rest spot at the body over. Reach out, get that good hamstring stretch. Rope, pausing every stroke. Rope. Rope. Awesome job. Rope. Your heart rate drop back down. Rope. 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 And continuous rowing for another minute or so. So little pressure. We're just letting our heart rate drop while rowing. Still think about that technique, initiate with your legs. Suspend from your arms. Getting that swing around the finish like when you were pausing, but without any actual pause. Take three more. One, nice and long. Two, sit tall. Three, easy. Great job today. Hope you enjoyed that. I had a good time. So, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Go hard, go strong.